Hi guys, Ramzan here. Here in this video, I am going to show you that in our Shopify store, how we can display color variants as individual products on collection page. This video is specific for Palo Alto theme. If you have any other theme, then you should go to www.shopwebsitecodes.com and there I published all the codes for different themes. Let me show you an example of the feature which we are going to develop in this video. So here on my screen, you can see that all the products are displaying with their color variants and this thing helps us to provide different color options to our customers. If we have multiple products and we have listed all those products on our main collection page and if a customer is coming there, then he can only see the single color variant so the best thing is that we should display all the other color variants as an individual products on main collection page and that's how we can increase the sales of the store overall you can implement this feature by your own by following the documentation step by step along with this video you don't need to learn any kind of coding skill because i have already written the code you only need to copy and paste here is the current situation of our store you can see that this is the home page of our uh, Shopify store and here we have new arrivals we have some products displaying here and if we are coming to our catalog that means the main collection page here also we can see some products which are listed we don't have other color variants displaying so let's start the implementation firstly you should go to the Shopify dashboard and here you can see that you have installed Palo Alto theme and first thing is you should create a backup of this theme click on these three dots click on duplicate so in that way you can restore later on if you want to so let's move ahead with the coding part click on these three dots again click on edit code here you will be getting some files and folders where we will be doing some editing but before that you should uh, follow the documentation so I have already downloaded the code so I will be adding the link below in the description you just need to download a zip file and once you are extracting that zip file you will be getting these files let's continue with the document.txt here inside of this documentation I have already written the steps you need to follow each step so the first step is like create new snippet the name of that snippet is color dash variant and paste attached code here you can see that we have snippets click on it click on add a new snippet and right here color dash variant and click on done so in that way you will able to create a new empty file and inside of this file you need to paste the attached code which is this one color dash variant dot txt you need to copy this complete code and paste inside of this empty file once you are pasting this then you should save the changes the next step is that you need to create a new snippet again and the name of that snippet is color dash product dash grid so copy this name and again create a new snippet click on it and paste the name and then click on done once you are creating an empty file then again you need to paste a new code which is attached here color dash product dash grid dot txt you need to copy this complete code and paste it inside of this file and then click on save once the changes are saved then you need to close this file let's move ahead with the third step which is go to sections open collection dot liquid so let's go to sections and open collection dot liquid and inside of it what we have to do is we need to replace this complete line of code with this one so how we will be finding this line of code you need to copy this keyword and just search here and it will be highlighted using Control F or maybe Command F you can see that we have two codes like this one and this one so you need to replace this one this line of code with the latest code which is this one and replace this complete render with the latest code then you need to click on save and once you save the changes then you need to close again so this was the final step now we have completed all the steps which were in the documentation it's time to test the feature so let's go to the store again and here you can see that we have already some products if we are refreshing this page all the color variants should display so here we go now you can see that all the color variants are displaying here and how beautiful this is now because all the color options are displaying to our customers so this is much more easier for us to uh, sell a product to our customers why because here we have multiple possibilities i mean customer has more options to choose so that's how you can implement this specific feature into your store if you are facing any issue then you can contact me directly i will be adding the contact details below in the description 
feel free to ask me more questions if you have any new feature to develop you can also suggest me i will make a video on that so thank you so much for watching this video if you are new on this channel then please like this video also subscribe this channel and make sure to visit on www.shopwebsitecodes.com because there i already published some new features you can just copy and paste the snippets and that's it and the best thing is that we are not installing any kind of app because apps are slowing down our store speed and these snippets are well optimized you have no load on your store so the speed is not uh, compromised so thank you once again see you in the next video